Senator Bernie Sanders has railed against President Trump for not releasing his tax returns and pledged to release 10 years of his own right here on CNN. Will you release 10 years of your tax returns? As you know, Elizabeth Warren has decided to do that. Yes. What, what was the delay? Why haven't you done that so far? Well, you know, the delay is, is not, it'll, it'll bore, our tax returns will bore you to death. It's simply a, <laughs> nothing special about them. It just was a mechanical issue. We don't have countenance at home. My wife does most of it, and we will get that stuff out. So when do you think we'll be able to see your tax returns? Sooner than later. Well, what does that mean? Soon. Questions got changed. That was over a month ago. So CNN's Ryan Nobles is with me. What's the holdup? Uh, the simple answer is, Brooke, we don't know. Their answer continues to be soon. We ask almost every day uh, when we're going to see Senator Bernie Sanders' tax returns, and his campaign really can't give us a clear idea as to the timeline of when we should expect them. In fact, Senator Sanders was asked about it this weekend on CBS, and he said it was just a matter of dotting the I's and crossing the T's before they get them out. But what's so interesting about this, Brooke, is uh, there seems to be a disconnect here. Uh, Senator Sanders told uh, Wolf uh, at that town hall shortly after he announced his candidacy that there isn't anything all that exciting about his tax returns, that, it sh that there's not really a whole lot to comb through. So what is taking them so long to release them to the public so that they can see them, especially when he's been so critical of President Trump yep. in particular for not releasing his tax returns. And we should also point out that there are a number of 2020 candidates that have already stepped up and taken on this challenge. Uh, Elizabeth Warren, Kirsten Gillenbrand, uh, Amy Klobuchar just released uh, her tax returns, and so is Jay Inslee. So this is becoming the trend for 2020 candidates. Uh, and it's something that at this point, Bernie Sanders has just not done yet. Although his campaign continues to insist, we will see them soon. Okay, Ryan Nobles, thank you for the setup. I want to stay on this disconnect because, as you well know, you know, Senator Sanders' delay in releasing his taxes, one of the curious comparisons uh, to be drawn between the Vermont senator and President Donald Trump. Dana Milbank is a political columnist for The Washington Post and wrote this, uh, wrote this piece. Dana, so nice to have you on. And, and, and you know, let me point out the obvious, that, that everyone has been obsessed with President Trump releasing his, his tax returns, including... Uh, Senator Sanders, but as Ryan just reported, you know, he's, he still hasn't done it. How longer can he get away with it? And why do you think so far he's been untouchable on this issue? You know, it is, it is strange. And I think that this is why I drew some parallels uh, between President Trump and Senator Sanders. It's not on substance. Obviously, they're completely uh, opposite in terms of that. But they do seem to play by different rules and get away with things like that. So I'm not going to sit here and say Bernie Sanders definitely is going to turn uh, over his uh, tax returns. He may not, just as President Trump did. Similarly, with the accusations recently of the mistreatment of women on it by his campaign in 2016, he sort of just rode that out in a, in, in a Trumpian way. And I think the idea is uh, he's a different kind of candidate. He's an insurgent. Uh, he's a bit uh, demagogic. He's against uh, the establishment. So I think he gets a pass for things uh, that other candidates might not. But why? Well, that's the mystery, right? We've, we've been asking this about uh, President Trump all along. So why aren't we asking, you know, well, is, is Bernie Sanders, you know, he'd be 79 when he's sworn in as president. Is he too old? Uh, the questions about women, the question about the taxes. I think it comes from being an insurgent against uh, the establishment since he doesn't, he has never played uh, by those rules. So he's held uh, to a different standard of rules. And I think that is similar uh, to the way uh, President Trump uh, has been treated. He gets a pass where more conventional politicians don't get a pass, and now Sanders benefits from that as well. Uh, Dana, I have to read this, this graph from your piece. This is, this is what you write. Sanders isn't Trump in the race-baiting, lender-cheating, fact-avoiding, porn actress-paying, Putin-loving sense, but their styles are similar. Shouting and unsmiling, anti-establishment and anti-media, absolutely convinced of their own correctness, attacking boogeymen, the 1%, CEOs in Sanders' case instead of immigrants and minorities, offering impractical promises with vague details, lacking nuance and nostalgic for the past. So do you think, Dana Milbank, that this makes Bernie Sanders quite a, quite a match for Trump come 2020? 
Well, we don't know because you know, Trump has thrown out all the rules. What we do know is Sanders brings out the rage, brings out the anger in people, different people, all, uh, admittedly, uh, for, uh, the, the same way that Trump did. So it is possible that by having the same kind of uncompromising, unbending, uh, angry politics on the left, that that will bring out uh, the left in droves the way it brings out the right for Trump in droves. Of course, it leaves out a whole lot of people in the middle uh, who don't feel that way. But, you know, the, the, the pre President Trump has built, brought out a lot of people talking about, you know, saying immigrants, foreigners, uh, minorities are to blame. Uh, it's certainly much nicer to hear uh, what Senator Sanders is saying. It's the 1%, uh, it's the CEOs, but it's the same idea. Those people are responsible for your problems. This is really powerful stuff. Uh, so I don't at all rule out that he could become the nominee and that he could, he could beat Trump. It just means that our politics on both sides is now taking a more bitter turn where everybody's going to be angry and everybody's going to be uncompromising. Quickly, you know who may challenge him. I don't know if you've seen the video tweet from the former vice president, but that is certainly making news and making the rounds and it all but, you know, sec secures his, his you know, uh, the fact that he will be running. What, what's, the he what's the headline on the Dana Milbank uh, Joe Biden piece tomorrow? Well, you're going to see, you know, people have been taking a chunk out of Joe Biden. They're going to continue to do it. He is vulnerable to the traditional rules of politics, whether it's the treatment of women or his past votes, uh, in a way that Bernie Sanders isn't. Uh, and it's not a coincidence, I think, that Ber the, one, the first accuser of uh, Joe Biden was a 2016 Sanders volunteer. This is going to be some really rough stuff coming up. Okay. Dana Milbank, thank you for joining me. Good to have thank you on. Thank you. My pleasure.